Welcome to Joy. My name is Father Michael Harmouth of St. Michael and All Angels, and I'm here to tell you a story. The story begins, as you can see on the screen, a boxer dog lying down on the grass with his head down. Dog's pretty sorrowful. Why is that? Well, he heard that today that Jesus died on the cross, and he's sad about that. Let's look at the story. Those trees are olive trees, and they are the very trees that were in the garden when Jesus took his disciples down to pray. It was after they had that meal called Monday, Thursday, and as they're down there around the tree, Jesus prays to God that this may not happen, that he may not have to die. He prayed about that, and he prayed on a rock. And there's a church built over it called the Rock of the Agony, and the altar sits on the rock. And if you look, you can see the rock, and around the rock are crowns of thorns. And up above is a picture, the picture of Jesus lying on the rock praying. And if you look closely, you'll see some of the disciples, they're sound asleep. Well, the soldiers came, and they took Jesus out, and they took him up to that building at the top, up those steps, to Peter's place. Well, it's called Peter and Gallicanto, because that means Peter cry and deny Jesus. They took Jesus up there so Pontius Pilate could question him, and Jesus went under the questioning, and as Peter saw that he went up those steps. He followed. And he went up and stayed up there. And someone came to him and said, aren't you a follower of Jesus? And Peter denied him. He said, no, I'm not. Now, eventually, after questioning, they put Jesus in the jail. Now, this was like a basement. And they had to lower Jesus down to that place. And there they left him. Now, when Pontius Pilate came to make a judgment, they lifted him out of the prison and took him to a place called the pavement. There on that podium on the left, you'll see that's where Pontius Pilate stood, and Jesus was in the basement area, and at that pavement, well, Pontius Pilate condemned him to death. Now, they took him out to a little street. This is the street, the street of sorrows. And they put a cross on him, and he carried that cross along that narrow street. You'll see it here. The cross got heavy. It got so heavy because Jesus was so weak, they took a man. You'll see him carrying the cross now, Simon of Cyrene. He would just come into town, and they grabbed him and said, carry this. And he carried it to the place called Golgotha. Golgotha is a Hebrew name meaning skull. If you look closely, 
That hill looks like a skull. Look at the eyes. And you come down and you can see a nose and almost a mouth in the bottom. That's why they call it the skull. And on the top of that hill, that's where Jesus and the two thieves were crucified. At three o'clock, he died on the cross and the storm came in and the clouds got dark. And eventually, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus went to Pontius Pilate and asked, can we have Jesus' body? He said, yes. And so they took a long ladder, climbed up, and brought his body down from the cross. He was dead. And you'll see him being carried by his friends and the women who followed him. And they took him to a tomb where they were going to lay him. It's a burial tomb. No one ever was buried in it before. And they took him and placed him in a tomb. And then there was a large round rock. And they rolled that rock in front of that tomb. And there he was. It seemed like everything was over. But it was just the beginning. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life on the cross so that we can be a forgiven people. Amen.